Hey everybody, so now it's been one week since the release of iOS 7 at the Apple WWDC, and I, being an Apple developer, have been reviewing iOS 7 for the past week on my device, so I figured I'd make a video here of some bugs and features missing in iOS 7 that Apple will hopefully improve by the next few betas, which I will be updating you on, or by the final release in the fall. So basically this article pretty much sums up everything that I would have to say. I figured this would be easier than actually going through them all on my phone. So this link will be in the description, so hopefully you check that out. But basically these are some main features that are actually missing in iOS 7 and I hope that Apple actually fixes before the next beta or the final release. So first off is battery life, sluggishness, and crashes. Now this article is very long, but basically battery life took a small hit. Uh, with iOS 7, it actually dies quicker on my iPhone 5 than with iOS 6. Noticeably so, not ridiculously slow, but noticeably. Uh, some of the apps are a little sluggish, and the operating system freezes occasionally, not very often, but occasionally. And some apps just crash, they don't even work. And overall, this is all to be expected with a beta. It's basically the reason why it's called a beta, because it's not going to be perfect, and there are going to be battery life issues, sluggishness, and crashes. So I'm sure Apple will actually optimize that better in the next few betas or the final version in the fall. Um, and I know that will be basically my biggest concern for the operating system to actually be more smooth and work better than it is now, which is expected because it is a beta 1 now. Um, also, Apple actually removed voice memos here, which I mentioned in a couple of my other videos, from the iOS 7 operating system. So hopefully they add that in in the near future. Uh, it was kind of nice to save voice memos if you wanted to use that, and I don't know why they would remove it. But of course, I expect it to be in the next few iOS 7 betas that come out. Also, Twitter and Facebook and the Notification Center have been removed. As you can see in these photos, it is nowhere to be found. And I've checked, it's not even in the middle uh, tab. So hopefully they add this in the next few betas here in the future because that was a nice little feature and made it very convenient to post to Twitter and Facebook. And I would really, really be, not angered, but really be upset if that was removed because it was a great way to share your updates with your friends. So I'm sure that it will be here in the next few betas because this is actually what it looks like now if you're sharing a photo started with Facebook or Twitter. Um, and also here's sharing a location on Maps with Twitter. So I'm sure they'll include that in the uh, features, again, in the next few iOS 7 betas. <coughs> betas, that was a voice crack. <laughs> I'll leave that in the video. Um, also, icons. Icons are a little sketchy right now. They're not very consistent and have different colors. So hopefully Apple gets to that. As you can see here, it looks different than the old icons, but these new icons aren't very consistent. I'm sure Apple will fix that in the next few betas. That's not a very big issue. I just thought I'd mention it because it's part of this uh, article. Um, also, native LinkedIn sharing. I haven't really experienced this, but according to this article, LinkedIn is not really working that well when you go to share things like that. Um, also, I have experienced this. Screenshotting is not very consistent. It, there are some bugs there that Apple needs to work out. And if you're on AT&T or Verizon and you want to use Edge or a slower data network like 3G only, the toggle seems to be missing or it doesn't usually work. Um, there are also some UI inconsistencies and toggle inconsistencies. One that I experienced was if I turned off iMessage, it didn't seem to work again until I restarted my phone and turned it back on. And the UI is just a little off. Um, some apps look different than other apps, and it doesn't really seem to flow as well as I wished it would. And uh, I, I'm sure they will fix this. As you can see, like these chat heads don't really seem to flow with the overall operating system, in my opinion. I'm sure some of you might like it. So hopefully they fix that. Um, other apps, such as Google+, Plus, don't really work. Um, here's a picture of the cellular data toggles I just talked about. And finally, I mentioned I just made a video on this, but iOS 7 on iPads and iPads minis. This is a mock-up of what it would look like. Um, these pictures are supposedly of the iOS 7 iPhone version running on the iPad and iPad mini. Um, with maps and stuff, but it just basically looks like a blown up version of iOS 7 on I on the iPhone, including Safari, even though it has the toggle for private browsing and the settings. I just hope that they have a better version of iOS 7 for the iPad, and uh, they should be allowed to make it better, which I'm sure they will. But to sum up, based off this article, the article will be in the description, but those are just a few of the bugs that I think Apple needs to work out. There are a couple more, but those are the main ones that I think Apple will fix in the next upcoming betas. 
And those are some features that are missing in action that hopefully Apple updates in the next few betas in the final version. But overall, I still love iOS 7. I think it's a great update. It runs well on my device, and I really enjoy it. So if you guys liked this video, be sure to rate thumbs up and favorite the video, as well as subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below. And I make content every day, basically weekly, so be sure to stay tuned for that on iOS 7. And check out my channel in the description for any more iOS 7 and Apple WWDC videos or on Apple in general. And great ways to stay in touch with me are to follow me on Twitter, my website, my Google Plus page, my Facebook page, and my other blog channel in the description. Those are great ways to stay in touch with me as I update those regularly, so follow those. And yeah, just basically be sure to stay tuned and subscribe for more content, and I will catch you guys in the next video and update you when some of these features are actually included in the operating system. Peace.